Well, take a look at this video that our crew captured on the water of the brand new southern resident orca calf. This baby's a bright light for the endangered population, especially because she's a girl. Simone Del Rosario is just back from the islands and joins us now. Simone, a new healthy calf, always good news for this population. Why particularly a girl? Yeah, well, we'll get to that. First off, most importantly, researchers say she's fat and healthy, so is mom. And we got to see her with her own eyes this weekend, which was pretty great. And as good of news as it is that she is healthy, as David said, it's just as good that we found out she's female. In recent years, the calves have been overwhelmingly male. So we're happy to see another new little baby female in the population. Yeah, what's the uh, importance of that? Well, if she makes it to her teens, she might start producing babies of her own. Uh, you know, unfortunately, none of them made it recently to their teens. So we just, you know, they're, they're trying. So we got to keep crossing our fingers and hoping that uh, they mature and, and have plenty of fish to eat. Well, this baby brings hope, as you heard, for a reproductive future. The population may have more than 70 whales, but only about a third of them are reproductive age, and only six have proven reproductive capabilities. So they can use every female they can get. And we haven't seen a lot of females, so why have the vast majority of the calves we've seen been males? So I posed that question to the experts, particularly Sam Wasser from UW's Conservation Biology. He says the most likely hypothesis for the skewed sex ratio we see is inbreeding. So because of inbreeding, if the embryo is too genetically similar to the mom, there's not a strong implementation, which leads to miscarriages. The reason that that tends to create a male bias is because all else being equal, males are more different to the mom than our females because males have a Y chromosome. Wow. So what that means is that is that when you do get conceptions under this time, you're more likely to make boys. And that means you're just cooked. So you can just see how So this one made it through. She is J56. We know for sure that her mom was pregnant at least once before, but in 2016 she had given birth to a stillborn. And we still don't know the sex of that calf in L pod that was born really late last year. So all of us fingers crossed that one could be female too. All right, all good signs.